we got eight more accessories to check out for your ideal desk and gaming setups. Just like before, links to everything are in the description below. We're starting things off with one of my most prized and favorite upgrades ever. The Audio-Technica ATH M50X Professional Studio Monitor Headphones. These are critically acclaimed and well-known by everyone, including top engineers and pro audio reviewers. A friend recommended these to me a few years back and I can tell you that it was one of the best purchases I've ever made. Everything, and I mean everything, sounds so much better with these headphones. They have a deep, accurate bass and exceptional clarity in their extended frequency range. In order to ensure the highest audio quality, I went with the wired version, which comes with three detachable cables at different lengths and for different needs. They do a great job in loud environments and are also extremely comfortable. They've never hurt my head or ears after using them during long sessions. That's thanks to the 90 degree swiveling ear cups and soft head and ear pad materials. The swiveling and folding ear cups also make it very easy to travel with. The wired version is around $150 and the wireless version comes in at about $200. These are totally worth the price. You won't regret it. Okay, so I have a confession to make. I've owned those headphones for years and the ones I just showcased were my wife's that she recently purchased. These are what mine look like now. You can see how much I've used them by how worn down the ear pads are. They are constantly flaking. Lucky for us, there is a solution to get these pads looking and feeling brand new with these Wicked Cushions Freeze Cooling Gel Ear Pads for just around $25. Wicked Cushions specializes in replacement ear pads of the most popular headphones out there, including the ATH M50Xs. They also offer them in various types and colors. I went with the all black to keep with the original look, but these offer a breathable hybrid sports fabric and leather material. Plus, they will keep your ears cooler for longer with the freeze gel pads. Swapping these in was really easy and painless thanks to the how-to videos on their channel. After trying them back on, I instantly noticed my ears had more space and the cushions were thicker, making my favorite headphones even more comfortable. Now, we're gonna need a place to store these when they're not in use. I ordered a two-pack of these Lamical sticky headset hangers for around $20. I chose these because I didn't want to take up any more room on top of my desk with a headphone stand, but I also needed my headphones to be easy to get to. They have a sleek, white minimal design, and the hooks have these soft rubber grips to protect your headset from slipping and scratching. I decided to place them on the sides of my Alex drawers from Ikea since the colors matched. All you gotta do is clean the surface that's going on, and then you stick the adhesive side to it. Then you have to wait about 24 hours before hanging anything on it. They can go on any smooth surface like plastic, metal, wood, or glass. Grabbing my headphones as well as putting them back in is now quick and easy. And when not in use, you can simply fold them up thanks to the magnetic clamps. Up next, we have a couple of products to try out that were sent to me by Rakora. This is the Rakora Pro tablet stand, coming in at around $50. I personally don't keep my 12.9 inch iPad Pro out often because I'm always afraid it's gonna fall over and get damaged. Even with Apple's own keyboard case, it's very easy to tip over because of the weight distribution. My wife recently purchased this cheaper tablet stand for around $20, and while it works for her smaller iPad, I simply don't trust it with mine. While unboxing the Rakora Pro tablet stand, you instantly feel the difference in both quality and weight when compared to the cheaper one. The center of gravity of the fully aluminum alloy integrated base is stable and does not tip over. It offers a minimal looking design that lets you adjust both the height and angle of the tablet comfortably. The rubber pads also do a great job of reducing any slipping around or scratching that can happen. Overall, it's a great product that I would gladly pay for to ensure that my 12.9 inch iPad Pro is safe. The next product they sent me was their Elite Ergo Laptop Stand. This one comes in at around $80. This stand gives you an ideal ergonomic experience with an enhanced airflow design and raised clearance for your laptop to stay cool. During the unboxing, I realized just how flat this thing can get. It is extremely foldable, which is a great thing for portability but it also felt very light, which was a concern for me at first, especially because it came with instructions on how to properly adjust both the height and angle. So make sure you take a look at those before using it. It's not very complicated though. Just place your hand in the open center when pulling it up and out. The Allen key that came with it can be used to tighten the stand once you have found your preferred position. It's made of an aluminum alloy, and like their tablet stand, it offers rubber pads that will reduce any slipping or scratching. I think the functional design has a mechanical futuristic look that would match most people's setups. 
and the focus on heat dissipation is very much appreciated. It held my 14 inch MacBook Pro with no problem, but I do wish it was just a little heavier for my own peace of mind. While I don't currently have a need for it on my desk, my wife does. So she stole it from me and it is now being used to hold her tablet in her desk setup. I'd like to thank Rikora for sending me these products. If you're interested in purchasing these, they are linked in the description below with 15% off when you use the coupon code IDEAL15. If you like these kinds of videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell because I've got more Modern Home Ideal Setup content coming your way. Now, let's start to transform my desk into more of a gaming setup. I do a good bit of my console gaming on my PS5, but you guys know how massive that thing is. I didn't want it to take up any space on top of my desk in order to avoid any more clutter, but right under my desk seemed like a great alternative. I went with the Monotech Under Desk PS5 Stealth Mount for about $30. It's a 2mm thick metal mount that securely holds your PS5 console in a convenient location under your desk, and is compatible with both the digital and disc versions. The brackets feel very durable and not easy to bend. There are also silicone grips on the areas where your PS5 sits that prevents the brackets from scratching your console in any way. Installation was super easy thanks to the included template. Once lined up, you just mark the holes and screw in the brackets right under the desk. Then, to secure your console further, there is a screw that goes into the base of the console. My PS5 is now in a convenient location that doesn't take up any room on my desk. The way the brackets are designed is also optimal for airflow, which should keep my PS5 cool and help avoid any dust buildup. For this next upgrade, I was going to need that second sticky headset hanger. I purchased the PlayStation Pulse 3D wireless headset for $99. I'd been eyeing these for a while now, and since my previous cheaper gaming headsets broke, I decided to give them a try. They provide a fine-tuned 3D audio specially made for the PS5, and they match the modern white design of the console as well, but also come in all black or gray camouflage. The box includes the headphones, the wireless USB adapter, the USB-C charging cable, and even a 3.5 millimeter audio jack cable if you prefer to use them wired. The 3D audio sounds amazing, but you could tweak your settings further based on the type of game you're playing thanks to the latest updates Sony has pushed out since release. Like shooter mode, which makes it so you can easily hear which direction footsteps are coming from, giving you an advantage online. On the headset, you also have hidden built-in noise-canceling microphones that sound great when you're chatting with your friends or a rival during a hardcore online match. You can also quickly adjust the chat settings and audio with the easy access controls on the left side of the headset. The battery life on the Pulse headset is also great, lasting up to 12 hours, which is much longer than the PS5 DualSense controllers. The best part though, is that they are not just for your PS5. They can be used on a PS4 and even a Windows or Mac computer with the USB wireless adapter. The only complaint I have with them is that they did start to hurt after extended use. I think that's due to the ear cups being a little bit stiff and also partly due to the shape of my head and ears, so your results may vary. Going back to battery life, the PS5 DualSense controllers are notorious for constantly needing to be charged. The batteries just don't last very long. So I was going to need to keep some controllers fully charged and ready to go. I grabbed this Atrix DualSense charging station for cheap from GameStop. We're talking $20 or less on these. If you can't find any, I've also linked similar ones on Amazon for you down below. I personally have four controllers, so I like to have at least two of them fully charged at all times. Not just for my wife and I, but for when I have friends coming over for multiplayer party games. It comes with its own power adapter, and the light-up icons let you know when your controllers are fully charged. If they are red, they are currently charging. If they are blue, your controller is ready to go. Simple as that. Placing your controllers on the chargers can be a little frustrating at first until you get used to it though, as you do need to be very precise when you place them. If you guys are interested in any of these products, I have affiliate links in the description below. I get a small commission from these at no additional cost to you and it helps support the channel. Now, the real reason I moved my PS5 into this setup was also to have it closer to my router. Why, you ask? So I can test out the brand new PlayStation Portal. Check out the unboxing and first impressions video here.